What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster for the PC. Last time finished the Cavern of Birth by defeating Lich. And in this episode we gotta head to Crescent Lake. I have to fight a lot of weak enemies on the sea though first to get there. So we want to go east whenever we can. And by the way, I found out something that you can do. I didn't even know you could do this. I'll show you after this battle. If you click on the map up here, you can enlarge it. I didn't know you could do that. That's, that's cool. So I'm going to keep it large. Uh, cause why not? Might as well. No reason not to, really. I wonder if you can do that in dungeons, too. I'm gonna try. As soon as we get to the next dungeon. I'm assuming you can. <clears throat> it's annoying fighting these weak enemies though. It might be better just to flee from them because it, it, it takes too long to take them out. So and they're not really worth the XP. So I think I'm just going to flee. Unfortunately, the enemies in the sea does not change throughout the game. In Final Fantasy 2 they do. I guess it's a good and a bad thing. One, one good thing about it, uh, you don't have to worry about missing uh, monsters out on the sea in this game. In Final Fantasy 2 there's a lot of missable monsters out at sea because the enemies change later on in the game. So I guess it's good and bad. If you guys follow this channel long enough, you know that I hate missable stuff. I can't stand when game developers put missable stuff in their games. Oh crap. Yeah, we got a new enemy here. Ink. Kig, something like that. Am I even going the right way? I hope I'm going the right way. Yes, I am. All right, cool. I wasn't sure if I was in the right spot or not. Hey, look at the monk doing 300 damage now. Crescent Lake. And I'll go ahead and rest of the end first, I guess. I don't really need to too much, but might as well. All right, so let's see, we could buy a buckler. I don't have that and mithril gloves. Equip the mythical gloves. More defense for the warrior, like it, like the warrior even needs more defense. I 
And then we have Mithril Sword and a Mithril Axe. And boy, do I have a lot of gill. Oops. Quip. Alright, so the Mithril Sword is better for accuracy, but I'm going to quit the Mithril Axe because it does more damage. But like I said uh, in previous episodes, if you're wanting to get annoyed by missing, it's always better to equip the weapon with the better accuracy. But I'm going to go for the extra damage. I don't care if I miss. It's a gravestone. Hey, you sleeping. Wake up. Smack him upside the head. Obviously, I'm joking. Let's see. I'm gonna buy some ethers. I have never bought ethers in Final Fantasy 1 ever. Because they were not in Final Fantasy 1 Origins. Or, or I don't think you. I think you could get them, but I don't think you could buy them. That's what I mean. I, th I think you can get them in the game, though. But I'm pretty sure you couldn't buy them. I don't know, though. It's been so long since I've played Final Fantasy 1 Origins. I'm sure I'll buy some eco grass too, I guess. And some eye drops, sure. I'm not going to buy Phoenix Downs because I usually don't have my characters fall in battle. Like, no joke, like... When I played Final Fantasy 1 Origins, I barely ever had a character die. And even when I did, I just went back to town. However, there's one very bad enemy in the ice. There's a dungeon later. I almost spoiled the name of it, but it doesn't really matter anyway. But um, there's an area later where an enemy that can inflict death on you. It just has its, it has a spell death. So, got to be a little bit careful about that enemy. Perterra. My husband is always traveling, and in and in the little time he is home, he sleeps all day. I think he needs to get his priorities straight. The Naga, Def, Quake, and Stun. I'm not going to bother to buy those spells right now. I'll buy them later on if I feel like I need them. Alright, anyway, over here we have a bunch of sages that we need to talk to. We need to talk to every single one of them. Twelve sages are we, guided to this land by the stars in prophecy. Four great crystals exist in this world. The light that once shone within them is now lost. The four fiends of chaos block the power of the crystals claiming it is as their, as their own. Fire, earth, water, and wind. These are the four forces that compose our world. The source of the four forces are stars scattered throughout the world. Defeat the fiends that have taken root there and lift up the crystal and car you carry to the altar. The crystal should regain its brilliance. The four fiends plot to rule the world both past and pe present. The Fiend of Wind appeared 400 years ago, followed 200 years later by the Fiend of Water. Together they laid waste to the civilization in the north. The Fiend of Earth rots the land where the Fiend of Fire passes all its all is engulfed in flame. When all four crystals shine once more, return here. All will be revealed. Bring the light of the four crystals to us, words of light. Only you can do this. The volcano of Mount Gold rises to the west of this town. The fiend of fire long swept within its passages, but she has awoken 200 years before her time. Vanquish her before the world is consumed in flame. What on words of light, you have defeated the fiend of earth and restored the crystal light. Silas has drawn the notice of the fiend of fire who was not to have stirred for another 200 years. Take this canoe and go face the fiend in Mount Golg. 
You obtained a canoe. All right. I am Lucan. Oh, we we heard about Lucan before. Remember in Cornelia, one of the NPCs mentioned him. His prophecy. He has a, his own prophecy or whatever. I see a cycle of wrath, a dim light guided by destiny, about which our entire future revolves. Hmm. All right, so we got the canoe. Now we can go to Mount Golg. No reason why I don't want to buy the Naga is because I feel like it'll be too powerful at this point in the game. Even though... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. I'll just stick with haste. I feel like the Naga is too powerful right now. I will buy it later, of course. I doubt I'll head through Mount Gogo in this episode, but I will go to it in this episode. And I think I do want to buy some Phoenix Downs, actually, because it's going to be a pretty long dungeon, so I'll buy some just in case. Let's get 20 of them. I have plenty of money. And I'll be getting more money uh, soon. Well, in the dungeon, I mean. Sorry about that. Anyway, now we can go in the... Just like in Final Fantasy 2, we can go in the water. But, in the canoe in this game, you actually fight enemies. I have new enemy here, Red Prana and White Croc. Now, the White Croc does tremendous damage, by the way. Like, it's damage is insane. Yeah, see? My monk got taken out. Yeah, the enemies in the canoe are pretty deadly. Especially to the monk. Monk's got like no defense. Alright. Oof. Ow. I'm not sure why they made those white crocs so strong. At least they give a lot of EXP, I guess. You know, we gotta follow this like maze of water. And that'll lead to Mount Golg. Or no, I think this leads... No, I don't think this does lead to Mount Golg, actually. Ugh. Remember when I said my characters never die? Well, they're dying now. I regret what I said. But I'm not even kidding, guys. I've rarely lost any characters and... Final Fantasy 1 Origins. They may have made this part harder. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I, did, I never had a character really fall in battle in Origins. Those white crocs are nasty. Okay, it is Mount Gog, okay. I do want to fight some more enemies not in the canoe though, because there's new there's other new enemies around here. There's like Ochu, Neochu, and some other enemies as well. I know it's weird 
fighting Ochis in the water, but... Ow! Those white crocs are so deadly. It's like getting hit by a Mack truck or something. Jeez. Leveled up. Level... 20, uh, 26. Nice. I may have to go back to town and buy some more potions. But I'm trying to find the new enemies around here. Keep fighting the white crocs. There we go. New enemy Hydra. And I think the other... I think we killed a croc too. They give a lot of gear, that's for sure. But there's even more new enemies besides those, so let's keep looking around. Need to fight the Ochu still. Yeah, here we go, Neo Chu. Which is obviously in um, Final Fantasy 13. It's like an upgraded Ochu. I don't think there's any other Final Fantasies besides 1 and 13. But don't quote me on that. Yeah, I'm going to have to return to town to buy more potions. After I fight the Ochu. For some reason I haven't encountered it yet, which is weird. I guess I'll head back that way since I'm going back to town anyway. But Mount Gogol's right there where we were at. Okay, there's the Ochu right there. And in the other games, it's a boss battle. There's a boss battle in Final Fantasy um, 10. end the video here guys in the next episode how long have I been recording for hold on yeah I'll end the video here in the next episode we'll head through Mount Gold. I'm gonna buy a max amount of potions real quick though and I'll meet you guys right outside Mount Gold in the next episode as well so thanks for watching later